guy's like a legend to me. I've seen his channel <laughs> for a long time before I ever even started the channel, so. <laughs> I'm Donna Marie, you're watching the Corvette Channel. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are at Corvette Fest. We are actually at the staging area for Corvette Fest here in Lodi. Uh, we're gonna be heading over to Idle Beer Works here pretty soon. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of pan around here. We've got some cars that are starting to show up and um, so you can see there's a few of them there staging all of these. We're gonna have a uh, 1953 that's out here that's been totally restored as well as a C8 uh, that has the matching VIN number. The same gentleman owns them both and uh, it's gonna be uh, pretty cool. I think the 53 is actually already over there. I'm gonna turn the camera around here so you can kind of see uh, what we got going on here. There, you can see the 53 is there. Uh, we've got some older classic ones. I'm standing in the area. Hey guys, how you guys doing? You guys are on Corvette channel. How you guys doing? Hey, how you hey, doing? Man. How you I doing? I wanted to give you a hug. <laughs> I was coming over there to see you. I said, I'm going over there. He didn't come to see me. Well, this no, is I'm the Corvette come to see man you. right here. Let me tell <laughs> how you, doing, you people. Buddy? Hey, this in, is man. the man right here. Hey, congratulations on your car. We got it uh, yesterday. That is awesome. That's yeah. awesome. I was at the show. Um, um, over at you know the Memorial Day one, yeah, right? when you yeah. just sold your your RC5, yeah. yeah. So uh, I knew it was coming soon. Yeah. I know you had said it, but yeah, the guy decided yesterday. That that's awesome. He had a that's for sale awesome. sign in the car, and he asked Joe if he wanted to drive it, and Joe said yeah, and then Joe said put the sign in the back seat. I'm buying it, <laughs> and we got a screaming deal. Good I can't you. say what we paid. I'll tell you secretly. Okay. <laughs> but it, it we stole that car, and it's got the supercharger. I saw that. And yeah. you should see all the stuff he gave us that goes really? with it. The original. Ta you know stickers that were on it he put them in a frame nice it was crazy i was like nice and then he gave him all kinds of other stuff i was like holy cow so we scored well, we're that, gonna put black cool. rims on it you know me about chrome rims oh i can't do it <laughs> i'm embarrassed to drive it but. see she she wants black rims right i'm the one look i i'm the one that has to have chrome on everything but not me jennifer's no. a, Jen, jennifer has turned to the dark side too so i love you know her that, right? for that <laughs> The dark side is the side to go. Chrome rims are outdated. Just saying. Hey, you know, they're coming back. You know, you know that, right? the black and it's the white right. will look amazing. It will. And it with your car, will. the black would look good because you have a lot of black accents. You don't have any chrome, really. No. Just, just no. saying. I, yep, just I know. Just saying. Yep. We're going to get that. So, that now, the last time I talked to Joe, he was saying that the... the, that the um, the C7 was too small for him. It was, but he drove a convertible. Okay. That was the problem. He right. got and it had sports seats or something or oh, racing yeah, seats. Oh yeah, yeah, it has the comp seats. So, yeah, so that those are seats, tight. Those it. are very tight seats. So yes. when he got into this, he fits perfectly fine. And my husband, by the way, is six foot five. Yep. Yep. So headroom and legroom. He's all legs, as you know. Oh yes. And it's it's important to him, you know. Yep. So, yeah. Well, you guys, you guys can see that. That's Joe over there, the, uh, <laughs> the you know, in the tall one, the white T-shirt. Um, he was swearing up down he wasn't going to get a C7 because we he wouldn't fit that. in the darn thing. No. But uh, I was really surprised, but I was very, very happy to yeah. see that you guys yeah, got we it. Did. So, it's, so it's now what? You guys have your a C7. You got your C6, right? My C6 and then Joe's 71. C, 70, C, yeah, so you got C3. Yeah, yeah. but uh, that C3 is uh, very something special. I think you guys have seen that on the show before. Because uh, we've done a few car shows, and uh, he's just done a wonderful job putting. What is that? An he L built is that, is that an, an LS, an, yeah. Is it an LS two or LS three? I can't Joe, remember. You're the Joe, what what do you got in your seven? In your uh, was 71. it 71? Is that an LS three or LS two? LS one. LS one. Yeah, Z06. Okay. All and right. he also rebuilt that from the start, and and he put all the computer systems in it. Yeah. It's all redone. It's like a yeah. brand new. No, yeah, no, it's yeah. yeah, guys. If you guys, you guys haven't seen it, uh, you have yeah, to look back at some of my shows. I, I have it on there on some of the shows. Yeah, it's got the two forty three heads on it. Yeah, Z06 yeah. heads. Well, congratulations on your car. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, that's awesome. But it's so nice to see that you finally, uh, you know, came over to the C seven because you said you weren't going to. Are you? Well, it's because I couldn't get the C eight. <laughs> I can't stand the C eight. No offense, people. <laughs> 
All right, guys, we're back and we can see that we got a bunch of other cars coming in here. It's starting to fill up, which is nice. We're still about 20 minutes before we're supposed to start, um, but they are filling in. Uh, last year, actually just before a year and a half, what do you want to call it, just before COVID hit, we had um, we had a pretty good turnout. And we showed up at the, at the last, right at time, right? And we didn't have almost a place to park in here, so. Um, so let me get this. I'm gonna. I'm trying to do two things here, guys. This is gonna be part of the the regular footage that we're gonna do um, for the uh, for YouTube it, it itself. I'm gonna put together a, a video for this. Um, but I'm gonna go uh, jump off here in just a minute and go do a live broadcast. So hopefully, if you guys are in the area and you guys haven't had a chance to come, then uh, you know you, you'll know that what's going on. Here's these two cars right here. Uh, these have matching VIN numbers, and uh, I think that's pretty damn cool. Um, you can get that as an option if you aren't aware of that. If on the new C8, you can buy, uh, pay extra, and be able to get the same VIN number as any other car. Uh, you know, the ending numbers, obviously, they can't be exact, but uh, you can get the same VIN as a, a classic if you already have one, and I think that's pretty cool. Um, so, um, pretty neat that that uh, those of these will be on display. We'll be able to show that actually when we get over to the show. So you guys are kind of getting the behind the scenes stuff over here. Got people wiping down all the cars and all that type of good stuff. It looks like maybe maybe Kevin has shown up. Yep, and I see I see Dave. So yeah, I see Kevin. So a lot of these guys are starting to show up. So I tell you what, I'm gonna jump off of this and I'm gonna jump onto the phone and see if we can do a live broadcast here from uh, the staging area, which is actually the park and ride in Lodi, um, Lodi, California, which is about 20 minutes away from uh, Idle Beer Works. And then we'll be able to uh, give you a good, uh, good show there. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So guys, I'm down here in the shop today and we're getting ready to go ahead and do a repair that has been up until now, they have not been able to figure out how to do this. Um, if you notice, the car has the new Morimoto uh, Lamborghini style headlights in it. And the problem that is starting to arise um, is that if you have the Morimoto headlights and you also have the Oracle or LED style uh, side markers, that you end up with um, the problem with the uh, with the control system in the Corvette and that what happens is um, different Corvettes act differently we've actually seen some of the lights that actually work uh, just plug and play but the majority of them that I'm starting to see now um, is that the lights will come on they will the headlights will always work but the once you start the car and the headlights can go to engage uh, anywhere from 10 seconds to 20, 30 minutes, the, um, the lights will just go off, all right? So depending on uh, how sensitive your computer is, uh, sometimes um, we've had them where just the passenger side goes out. We've also had it like in this car here, um, with all of this, all the side markers, the only thing that stays running is the two headlights. So um, I've reached out to Morimoto and uh, they have said that at this point in time they do not have a fix for it. Um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to accept that. So um, I spent a lot of time and we figured out exactly how to go about fixing it so it will work. So whether you're just doing the headlights or you're doing uh, and you're and you're doing the tail lights or any mixture of that, you may encounter this problem. So um, if you're in this area or you wanna bring the car to us and you're having that problem, we'll be happy to take care of it for you. Uh, just uh, reach out to us, I'll give you a quote on it. Um, I'll have you send me a video uh, basically or you can bring it by, but I'd like to be able to see the uh, what it's doing and what lights are going out and that type of stuff. But Guys, we're back. Um, the, the parking lot is filling up. I think when I clipped on the last one, we were like standing here looking at each other with cameras. But uh, My camera is not as fancy as his, although it's the same camera. It's the same camera, see? So what, Cam, what, what he did, what Kevin did is he went and showed off and he showed me this new GoPro that's way better than my old ones, right? I had a five and a seven. 
So he's showing me this thing and how it's got the max lens and all that. So I said, well, you know what? I got to show him up. I got to get the the uh, the uh, the side light and the, the boom mic and all this stuff to go onto it. So then he went to the adult bookstore and bought all the attachments for it. And now here we are. <laughs> so, but I still stand up to go pee. There you go. Hey, it's me too. <laughs> nice camera. Same here, man. All right. So, guys, we're uh, I'm kind of on the back row here. I think you had seen most of these right here along the back way. Um, it's going to kind of go that direction, but I'm going to walk down this way here. Um, and we'll see if we can get some more of the, the other cars that have snuck in since then. Um, John did me a favor. He went. I think he went over. Where'd you go? Did you go over to the, the store? Yeah, it's hot out here, guys. So uh, John John brought me over a Coke. Actually, those of you know that I'm type 2 diabetic, it's actually Coke Zero, so don't give me a bad time, okay, guys? So anyway, um, you can see that it is starting to fill up now i think when we were doing the video earlier it was just a little bit before 10. you can see that um, you know there's a lot more cars have rolled in i did a live broadcast so um, that'll be up there it's probably already up now and you'll be able to see the majority hey guys hey how you doing scott good how about yourself good good all nice right see man you again, buddy. yeah same here Pleasure. Yeah. Seen your car outside. Thank you, sir. Yeah, they're Looking giving good. me uh, honorary parking, uh, you know, because we're, since Corvette Channel's covering it today, they're putting us right up front, so it's kind of cool. It's been As a great day so yeah. far. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Beautiful so, air show. And, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and you know, uh, great turnout. Like I was telling Lisa, we haven't forgot about the barbecue we're going to do, oh. but we're in the middle of a buying a house, so we're going to see if we can try to, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that works out good. Anytime, yeah. buddy, anytime. Yeah, man. so hopefully that works out really good, and in that point, that place will be able to actually entertain and our old house we, we could handle about four people so you know now yep. we can now we can right. do it right so well, we're anyway. looking for you to yep. your next show <laughs> all right yeah. all right we'll talk to you guys in a little while Cheers. okay great people guys uh they helped us with our car show um and um they just uh, they just i don't know they, they, I, you can't ask for better people um they have a white c6 i don't see it right here i don't know exactly where it is Oh, I see it right there. I think we've, uh, yeah, so they, they snuck in a little bit ago. Um, guys, this has got a lot of goodies. He's got a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this car, and it just looks it. It shows, um, you know, and uh, we did an interview with them at the car show, and they have a beautiful uh, engine engine bay that they did. But, you know, take a look at the... I think we'll get the mirrors. Those are the Oracle mirrors. It's got the Oracle lights and stuff in it. Um, just, you know, just, just, just beautiful car. You know, they've just taken it and made it their own, and it just is really, really nice. But anyway, all right, let's get back over here. Um, as you know, this is uh, this is Kevin's car. Notice the license plate, one Adam 12. He used to be a police officer, so um, that's kind of. Uh, you know, that's kind of the uh, reason that he got that license plate. Um, let me get you around over here. And we'll take a look at these little guys. So, there's a C8 for you. It's a beautiful color, man. The other thing that I love about the family and friends show is that they take the time to put your picture in your And, 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 really I, and of course, I don't see Archie again still, but I know that's him. So, guys, I think, I don't know, I'm going to walk this down here. Um, there's just a lot, I mean, a lot of cars have shown up. I see the more, there's way more classics now. So, I'm going to kind of just uh, walk down here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys can see all this. So, I always seem like that. Yeah, that'll work. There we go. Got his doors open and everything. All right. There's a beautiful C6 right there. I just love that color. You guys haven't guessed that. Me having that 88. And I always talk about blues. I've had a lot of blue car Corvettes over the years. I just went total different way when I started going with the with the burgundy ones. And then Jen wanted me to change over and get me go from blue to something different right so people would know that i actually got a different car 
Um, and then after after a while, when it was come time for her to get one, I said, well, what color do you want? She said, oh, I want a blue one. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we took her. I didn't let her make a decision until uh, we went up to um, Southern Oregon uh, Corvette Fest that was up in, uh, actually, up there in, in Grants Pass. Uh, they, they do an awesome job. They're going to be putting on another show um, next. Actually, it'll be uh, this next coming year, like about this time next year. Um, and if you guys have, you guys, when you guys hear about it, um, and I will put it up on the channel, uh, the information, because we will go to that show. Um, it is an awesome show. And look at this one. This is a, this is a total changeover. It's like it was a C5 donator. Uh, that totally been converted. You can see here, it's, yeah, it's a C5 2001 transformed into a C1 1962 car. And very, 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 very nice. It's done very, very nice. Uh, Take a look. All the modern, all the modern goodies with the older style. And they did a really, really nice job. So, all right, guys. Well, here's here's a really beautiful C3. This color just really makes this car jump. Wow, it's nice to see these cars are still out and about and running really well, looking good. Beautiful. Sneak past. There we go. So we've had a couple more cars come in. Very cool. So, I think we did it on the live broadcast over here, and we also covered the car. That one's for sale, so um, if you guys are interested, be sure and check it out. And I think it's in the video, this video and in the live live broadcast, it's got his name and number on it. So if you're looking for a car, uh, looking for an older Corvette, uh, let him know. All right, guys, we're, uh, there he is, there's Stan. We've been filming constantly between oh, live broadcast and, and Thank here. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, yeah. 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 It looks so. like we have a, a, an expected turnout here. There's over yes. 100 sitting here on the ground. And there'll be more showing up downtown, but we're we're rocking and rolling today. It, it's looking good. The air sh the, the practice air show yeah. is cool too. In about 10 minutes, the horn will sound to AIS. All right. You know what that means? What do we got? Ass in seat. <laughs> AIS and <laughs> gentlemen, start your Corvette engines and ladies. There we go. 11 we roll. There we go. So we got to keep things on cue. Yep. Well, that's good. They're waiting for us anxiously at Idle Beer Works. Those tappers are ice cold. They're ready they're, to go. They're getting ready to pop the spigots, man. <laughs> well, guys, like we were saying, thank you. If you guys are if you guys are thirsty or hungry, because they got truck, they got food trucks out there too. So thanks, Dan. You're welcome. So you guys come on out, okay? The turnout is exactly what they were expecting. Um, like he said, we're probably a little bit over 100 cars. I think he's underestimating it at this point. Uh, plus they have some more that's coming in. So I'm gonna venture to say when we get over there, um, we're still about, I don't know, what are we, 15 minutes out? Uh, and then we've got another half hour drive, maybe 20 minutes drive with the, all of the lights and stuff. I think we'll be, uh, They'll, I'm sure there'll be plenty of cars there, so I'm going to say we're probably going to be around 150 to 200 cars up and down the street in the parking area. So, I don't know if you, I'm sure most of you guys have seen these up nice and close. This one's actually done a really nice job with the engine department. And all the carbon fiber in there. It looks awesome. You know. Yeah, very, very nice. Yeah. The fact to well, own this one and this one at the same time is crazy. I had, I, I had the just beautiful. Well, take a look at that. It's nice, guys. Yeah. Very nice.
Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe.